There's been a hidden image hiding in plain sight on our coinage. Let's reveal it all now. Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, today I wanted to have a quick look at the hidden image that has been hiding in our coinage uh, since 2008. Uh, that's nearly 15 years ago now. Um, so you can do this at home. All you need is a one penny, a two pence, a five pence, a 20 pence, a 50 pence, all from 2008 onwards. Um, now, if we have a look at them, we've got them here in front of me. Um, they might just look like they've got a couple of random designs on them. Um, they don't really make much sense. Uh, but if we arrange them in the right way, uh, an image is revealed. So if we put all these to the side, and if we start off with our 10 pence, let's put our 10 pence up there. And uh, to the right of that, we're gonna put our two pence. Um, so let's put that two pence right about there. Um, doesn't really help much. Uh, you can kind of see that something is happening. Uh, right below the 10p, uh, if we get our one penny coin, and if we position it roughly around here, um, next to that penny in the middle, we're gonna put our five pence piece. Uh, so if you line the five pence up there, uh, we'll put that in the middle. Um, as you see, there's, some, there's a cross on the 5p, so and there's, a, there's a line here, we wanna line that up with that. Um, and then, if we get our 20 pence, and put that one, again, with the line lining up to uh, that 5p line there. Um, anywhere around there, it doesn't really matter too much, but uh, as you can get a, an overview uh, from above. And then to finish it off, we have our 50 pence, and that will sit right at the bottom down here. Um, there's a line again in the middle of that, and we're gonna line that up with that 50p, uh, with that 5p line there. Um, so there we have it. They're all positioned in the right order now. Uh, can you see the hidden image? Um, so what you should be looking at is the royal coat of arms. As you can see here, starting from the top, we've got this kind of like shield design um, spread across the coinage. Um, so yeah, we're gonna call it the shield from now on, um, since normally that's what we call it. In the coin world, when we're doing coin hunting, these are shield 50Ps, um, so we're gonna call it shield. Um, so on the image, I'm gonna put the, uh, I'll probably put it here somewhere so you can see it in a little bit clearer, uh, the actual picture of the royal coat of arms. Um, but in the top um, left and the bottom right, uh, they're filled with the three lions of England. Um, the top right contains the Scottish lion, and the bottom uh, left contains the harp of Ireland. Uh, it generally appears, this shield, on churches, public and buildings as well. Uh, so next time you're out and about, keep an eye out. You might spot it um, on the doorway of a church or something. Um, uh, and this shield also appeared on the one pound coin, the old round pound coin. Um, so that is the actual shield in full there. You can see the lions um, in the top and the bottom. And then you've got the Scottish lion and the uh, harp of Ireland. Um, so the Royal Mint, every year they release an annual set. Uh, and this shield is actually laid out uh, like this in, in presentation form. Um, however, in 2022, uh, it could be the last time we see the design. So if I move this over uh, and just pull that up a bit, you can see the uh, design is all laid out here as well. Um, but yeah, it could be the last time we uh, see this uh, royal coat of arms design um, because of the passing of the queen. Uh, this design might disappear for 2023. Um, there is a lot of talk at the moment in the coin collecting world that the Royal Mint are uh, in the process of creating a new coin for 2023 with King Charles on it. Um, at the moment we've got no official confirmation of that, so at time of recording this is still the standard design uh, going forward. Um, 
but yeah, there is a lot of speculation that it might change. So 2022 might be the last time uh, you'll see this royal uh, coat of arms. Uh, that about wraps it up for this video. I uh, hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please consider giving the video a like uh, and subscribing to the channel so you'll get notifications of future uh, video releases. Uh, all that's left then is to say thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.